Now let's move to the second analysis. Here we want to see the effect of a change in the wage rate holding the non-labor income constant. If non-labor income is zero or unchanged, that is, we hold the wealth effect or the income effect constant and the wage rate W increased, this would cause both the income effect and also the substitution effect. Please remember this equation, wage rate times hours work that give us earning plus V. This is our income equation. Now we are interested to see what happened when there is a change in the wage rate. Which rate can increase or decrease? And in this analysis, we are holding the non-labor income constant. Whenever we talk about a change in the wage rate, there will always be two effects pulling or pushing towards an opposite direction to one another. The first effect is the substitution effect. And the second effect is the income effect. Remember that whenever we talk about a change in the wage rate, these two effects will be there. It is just a matter of which effect is more dominant than the other. Therefore, if due to a wage increase, a worker increases his or her hours of work, that means the substitution effect is stronger than the income effect. However, if when there is an increase in the wage rate, a worker reduces his or her hours of work, this means the income effect is stronger than the substitution effect. And one of the main factors that determines which effect dominates lies solely in the shape of the indifference curves. So to understand the effect of a change in the wage rate, you need to know that wage rate is the opportunity cost of leisure. Let's say you have a pay increase from 10 ringgit per hour to 100 ringgit per hour. You can ask yourself whether you want to increase your hours work or not. If your answer is yes, that means your substitution effects dominate your income effect. However, an increase in the wage rate cannot forever makes us to keep increasing our hours work because there will be a point where we will say, I have enough money, I have spent so many hours for work, now I should spend more hours for leisure. And when that dominates your decision, that is when your income effect dominates the substitution effect. Let's use this diagram to see and to capture the effect of a change in the wage rate. Remember, we are talking about a change in the wage rate and we want to show the effect of an increase in the wage rate. Note that U1 is the initial indifference curve or the original indifference curve. And AB, this budget constraint or budget line, is the initial budget line before the increase in the wage rate. Over here, point N1 gives us our tangential point, And we find that this worker spent 8 hours for leisure and also 8 hours for work. How much is his wage rate? You can find the slope of this budget line. How to do that? Very quickly, we, you can take 128 minus 0 over 0 minus 16. So you will get negative 8 or 8. That is your wage rate, basically. So we can say that the initial wage rate is $8 per hour. Now, let's say there is an increase in the wage rate and that can be shown by a rotation of the budget line on point A. So this is how we can capture the change in the wage rate. So it's a rotation of our budget line. The budget line gets steeper. And if you measure the slope of this new budget line, you should get 12. In other words, the wage rate has increased from $8 to $12 per hour. It shows that 
when we have a much steeper budget line, it shows higher wage rate compared to the less steeper budget line. Now, given the new budget line, we have point N2 as the new tangential point. And over here, we find that this worker has spent less hours for leisure and he or she works more hours now. Therefore, our observed effect, the change here, shows that this person has increased his or her hours work. And that means the substitution effect dominates his decision. Let's consider this diagram. The same scenario where we have an increase in the wage rate. We have N1 as our initial position. And now when there is an increase in the wage rate, we can capture that with the rotation of this budget line. Now it's getting steeper. And over here we get N2, the new tangential point. Notice the observed change. This person now works less hours from 8 hours working to 6 hours now and the person spends more hours for leisure. So what's the case here? We find that the income effect dominates. So what we see in both cases are possibilities when there is a change in the wage rate. Remember that whenever you receive any pay increase or pay decrease, both effects will be there influencing your decision. It's just a matter of whether which effects dominates the other effects. The last point to note in this analysis is over here, we have a case of an increase in the wage rate. Remember that you should also be able to show what happens when there is a decrease in the wage rate. Please try that. So I think that's all for this time. Thank you. Wassalam.